Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, so um, th the thing about this, Kevin, obviously this is uh, coming all the way down on you, but I think what John is trying to say, these guys have been looking for an opportunity. They've been looking for everything to come together. It seems like, and, and this is what I gathered from, from watching you guys talking to Mac as well as uh, Noir, it seems like they really couldn't full-fledged go after Alex yeah. Right. S uh, uh, SB tactical. So they were kind of like, OK, who can we pick on out there that, w you know, that we could just intimidate that person and get them to fall to us? Because if they do it, then maybe they establish something. What do you think? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what, you know, how many braces have been used in crimes. I'm not sure, but I bet the stats are pretty freaking low. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why. You know, I get asked the question every day. I don't know why they're going after me. I mean, I do think me being in the first time in the Boston field office territory, being a very liberal state, mm -hmm. probably has something to do with it. Um, I, you know, I don't mind. They're not going to rattle me. Like, I don't want my house firebombed outside of that. Mm -hmm. Like, wh Whatever. If we if if Q can help to bring awareness to this and the abuses of power of some of these regulatory agencies and we can correct some of this stuff and retain our rights, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, like I said last night, I think that Silencer Shop and SB Tactical have been probably the two most innovative companies in our industry in the last 10 years. And I think everybody needs to support them. I think it's disgusting that I haven't heard from any firearms companies. Everyone needs to get in bed with this thing. Um, everybody needs to support Alex and needs to support our company. It's not supporting me. Like I can never sell another gun with a brace and I'm still fine. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't really affect my company as much as it does a lot of others. But what it does affect is an erosion of rights for every every citizen of this country and everyone that loves 2A. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's something everybody needs to be aware of. You know, SIG sold hundreds of thousands of guns with braces. Springfield Armory, Smith and Wesson, Ruger, you know, Palmetto State, you yeah. name. Who's not, who, what firearms manufacturer is not making a pistol? I don't know. Well, we have millions of people out there that have braced pistols now. You know, that was a problem with everybody not supporting the effort against bump stocks. I don't care about bump stocks, but it is an erosion of rights that leads to this. You know, what is that, a year or two ago? Uh, and now. Maybe over yeah. two, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, that came in in the, uh, the the early part of the Trump administration, right? I don't recall, but now we have, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's going after braces, and we all have guns with braces, or we know someone that does. It mm -hmm. affects everyone mm -hmm. the, in the firearms industry. So everybody needs to stand together, and the media's been great. Our customers have been great. Alex's customers have been great. Very supportive. Lots of people have written their congressmen, their senators, the White House, DOJ, NRA, everyone to get involved. They've been great. But you know what's sad is no firearms companies have pledged any help to us. And like I said, if braces go away tomorrow, it stinks because Alex goes out of business. Q doesn't go out of business, but there's a whole lot of companies out there that do that 80% of their rifle caliber mm -hmm. firearm pistol brace guns. That stinks. So, so let me get this straight. There's no fire. There's no one in the firearms industry uh, or a company in the firearms industry that's reached out to either one of you, Alex or Kevin? There's not a single firearms company that's reached out to me to offer any support, ask what's going on, how can they help? Well, I will take that back. There was a big executive that reached out to um, uh, my CEO and asked him what was going on. And then he said, well, we were going to uh, announce something in, in opposition of this, uh, you know, ATF infringement, but then Kevin posted a picture of the MPX brace that was approved and throwing us under the bus. So we're not going to announce anything oh. now, which is sig like okay. a bunch. How of is that throwing? How is that throwing anyone under the bus? It's, you know, it's not. It, you know, what it is 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 a call and, and, and a great illustration of the mm -hmm. fact that ATF. Being unreasonable, and it gave 
just like it gives the DOJ and the White House an opportunity and NRA to step in and correct what they screwed up with the bump stock. Mm -hmm. It gave SIG an opportunity to step into this fight and start swinging, you know, because they got a lot more to lose than me. Like, you want to recall 400,000 guns? I think we all, I think everyone has something to lose. Everyone has something. Walter, are you trying to get something in here? No, no, no. I don't think anybody's going to recall anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they're trying to force us that's to do. They, that's what they want. But I think we all have stuff to lose. And and I agree with you. And I think a lot of people in the gun community were saying, you know, there's some people who didn't agree with it, with the bump stocks, you know, some people like, hey, NRA, Trump, they're playing uh, four-dimensional, three, whatever kind of crazy chess checkers nonsense they were supposed to be playing. That little thing opens up room for another little thing. Now, the the this brace situation is a big thing, right? And well, it if is. we allow that, it opens room for bigger things. Well, yeah. I, I don't I don't care about bump stocks, but mm -hmm. what I care is if we ignore it, then it's an erosion of our rights, and it leads to the next thing, which I care about, mm -hmm. like. Walter making 50 caliber uppers for an AR. That's not my thing. Mm -hmm. I don't personally care, but I care greatly and want to defend that because it's an infringement upon our right to bear arms. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter if you like single shot 22s or you like machine guns or you like 50 cals or you like SBRs or you like rifle caliber pistols. Mm -hmm. We all stick together because the other side hates it and they're going to lie, they're going to cheat, and they're going to do anything they can to take this away from us. And, you know, what they're doing to me, I don't know. You know, you, you know, they put me out of business tomorrow, and, and, and those losers at ATF can high five. You know what? I'm still rich. I still retire. I still go on hunts. I raise my kids. They go to college. The I people lose, school. though. The people lose. Yeah, the people lose. I Like, I don't lose. Mm -hmm. But, you know, m but my employees, my customers – my vendors, everyone else loses. Mm -hmm. I win, you know, and, and if ATF, if, if they force a lawsuit, does Alex win? Do I win? Even if we win the lawsuit, we lose. Because people at ATF and these regulatory agencies, they're not held accountable personally. They have no skin in the game. Where Alex, he loses tens of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. To me, I'm losing two to three million dollars a month not being able to ship money badger pistols. I'm not crying. No one should feel sorry for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to have the money, but the individuals that have purchased the guns who now the ATF deem are felons overnight when they purchased something legal, you know, three months ago, that's what's sad. The erosion of rights uh, of a U.S. citizen mm -hmm. who's not a criminal, that's sad. The regulatory agencies doing these sorts of things to increase their numbers or power or for what it, or what I believe in this case is a political reason. You know, mm -hmm. the election is less than a month away. This isn't accidental. No. Oh, yeah. um, Alex, you, did you want to jump in? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll just, I mean, I'll, I'll add to that. I think what Kevin said is, is it's, it's, I love hearing that from you, Kevin, because it's like you, you and I, I think we see things eye to eye because it's like for us, I would be, I'm fighting right now for this, but not for me because the Bosco family we're fine. You know, we're going to be okay. It's okay. But we've got, you know, 15 people in our warehouse who work their ass off. Okay. Not to talk about the back office, Jeff, uh, Amy, Jessica, Matt, uh, Kevin, all these people, John, that are working their butts off to make sure that we do what we do and that our product goes out. Like I'm doing this for them. And when I think about them, it's not just them because that's kind of like the incarnation of all these two A people. Mm -hmm. And Kevin's right. Like I didn't care about the, the the bump stock issue, but what I cared about was that a, by presidential decree you stopped something from happening. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was wrong. Yeah, and, and, you, we, and you made a piece of you made a piece of polymer into a machine gun, separated on its own from a firearm. Well, it's worse than that. It's worse than that because. The ATF, the regulatory agency, based on law, decided that that piece of plot that you're talking about didn't fit the description of a machine. And so, I mean, I, I've got my beef with, with the White House. I've got my beef with the NRA. Um, I will tell you not to, not to uh, you know, disparage the NRA too much. Of all the people that should have been 
reaching out to me. The NRA was the last group of folks that I was going to think that would reach out to me. The NRA has stuck their necks out. Now, we can have an entire show about things that we hate about the NRA, okay? But Jason we met, Josh Savani, and a few mm-hmm. other folks at the NRA have stuck their necks out for us, and they're out there now trying to turn this thing around. So I've a shout out to them. I, again, this is not to take away from all the stuff. We can air, you know, our dirty laundry on the show if you want to, and I'll and I'll take part in it. Thank mm-hmm. you. Do it because I have my own beef with them. Mm-hmm. But what they've done is they've been the only people to come out. You think some of the people that are riding on our coattails would have come out and, and say, oh, well, we're making braces that are different than yours, but similar, and maybe we'll come and help you. Nobody came out and called me and said, hey. Let's let's try and do something to, to work against the ATF. SIG, do you think they picked up the phone and called me and said, hey, you know, let bygones be bygones. Let's work out something to fight against the NFA, the NFA and the ATF. Nothing. Nobody. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.